Hi everyone, in food microbiology, now we are going to discuss about fermented foods. Before discussing about the fermented foods, let's see what is meant by fermentation first and then we will move to the fermented foods. Fermentation is one of the oldest forms of food preservation technologies in the world. And the term fermentation was derived from a Latin word called fervid which means to boil. In general, fermentation is going to be defined as an anaerobic cellular process in which bacteria or yeast or other microorganisms are going to convert the organic foods into simpler compounds and releasing some sort of energy in the form of ATP. Okay, this is a general fermentation definition. But according to the food processing, that is food uh, industries, fermentation is a type of metabolic process in which microorganisms such as bacteria, yeast, fungi are going to convert the organic compounds, usually carbohydrates such as sugars and starch, into alcohols or acids. So that's how regarding the food processing, the fermentation uh, is going to be defined as a conversion of organic compounds such as uh, sugars and starches into alcohols or acids by the activity of microorganisms is going to be defined in terms of food microbiology. This fermentation is going to ferment the food and making the food to be of a more nutritious, more digestible and swagger that means having a better flavor because of this fermentation and not only that this fermentation is going to have a low energy intensive operation in the food preservation and here you can see some of the benefits of this fermentation for example through the fermentation process we can preserve the food materials for longer life and we can have the enhancement of the safety safety then enhancement of uh, nutritional value then improvement of the flavor for example take the preservation milk is going to be immediately uh, spoiled though you are going to pasteurize it all the things but if you are going to convert it into the form of yogurt or curd then you are going to have a longevity more so which is a fermented product of a uh, milk so Second one coming to uh, enhancement of safety, for example, acid production. The fruits are, are going to be the raw material which is are going to give the fermented food which is called as vinegar. Then in the same manner, acid and alcohol production is barley, uh, grapes. From the barley, we'll get the fermented food is beer and from the grapes, we know it's a wine. In the same manner, some of the products uh, is going to be ensured for the safety of removing the toxic components by fermentation like soya bean. The soya bean protein may be having some sort of a toxic which is allergic to some people. But if it is going to be converted into soya sauce, then it is going to be of uh, removing the toxic components that are present in the soya beans. Then not only that this fermentation is also improving the digestibility for example wheat may be not uh, completely digestible for some people if it is going to be converted into the bread then it is going to be of very good food then retention of micronutrients like leafy veggies so the fermented foods are going to be of kimchi and salt cot then improvement in the flour like coffee beans coffee grapes are going to be of wine so these are the few benefits of the fermentation of our foods. Then we will move to the fermented foods that here are some of the examples in detail. So first of all, what is meant by a fermented food? So according to Sahlin in the year 1999, defined that fermented foods are those foods which have been subjected to the action of microorganisms or enzymes. So that what is happening because of those activity so that desirable biochemical changes cause significant modification to the food. So that's how the desirable biochemical changes causing the significant modifications to the food because of the action of microorganisms or their enzymes is going to be defined as fermented foods. The fermented foods comprise about 
one third of the worldwide consumption of food and 20 to 40 percent of individual diets so these are the few examples or pictures of uh, different types of uh, fermented foods then coming to the history uh, we know very well about the Louis Pasteur who determined that fermentation is caused by yeast and there is also a reliable information that fermented drinks were being produced over 7000 years ago in Babylon and 5000 years ago in Egypt and 4000 years ago in Mexico and 3500 years ago in Sudan. And uh, this China is thought to be the birthplace of fermented vegetables and the use of aspergillus and rhizopus molds to make foods. Okay, so here are some of the list of foods and the approximate year of introduction and the region where they were introduced. For example, take the mushrooms. It is of about 4000 BC uh, years where approximate of introduction of this food occurred, that is mushrooms, in the region China. Then soya sauce is about 3000 BC and the region where it was China, Korea and the Japan. Then moving to the wine is also about the 3000 BC, North Africa and Europe. Then moving to the fermented milk, it is going to be of Middle East, cheese also in the Middle East only, but it is around 2000 BC. Then coming to the bread, it is 1500 BC where the region was Egypt and Europe. Then moving to the pickled vegetables, that is all throughout all those things, where 1000 BC, the China and the Europe. Then tea is about 500 BC, again it's China. So this is a little bit history about the fermented foods. Then the types of fermented foods. We are having the different types of fermented foods. They were classified based on the type of uh, organisms or the space basic raw materials that from which they are going to be of, uh, prepared. Okay, so these are a list of uh, fermented foods or different types of fermented foods depending upon the microorganism. For example, foods fermented by yeast, foods fermented by mold, foods fermented by bacteria. So here you can see mold is a raw material and the thing that you are going to get the fermented food is beer okay so these beer wine sake bread these are all going to be because of the yeast activity in the same manner the mold that is a fungi you are going to have the soya sauce and swiss cheese then the foods fermented by bacteria are going to be a dill pickle sour cod sour cream and yogurt so in the same manner depending upon the raw materials these fermented foods are going to be of different types so that is fermented cereal products like our idli dosa dhokla other things then fish products salmi uh, pickled fish then fish sauces dry fish then dairy products or yogurt the he cheese buttermilk curd all these things can fermented fruit and vegetable products are going to be sauerkraut kimchi olives cucumbers and pickles Fermented meat products are going to be of pickled meat, sauces, salmi and dry meat. And the fermented beverage products are wine, beer, tea, coffee, cocoa. So these are the different types of uh, fermented foods. One depending upon the type of microorganism. The second one depending upon the type of raw products or raw materials. Then here you can see some of the examples of fermented foods. This is our uh, idli, dosa and then this is a site of sal roti in that especially made in a sikkim himalaya pradesh and this is a gundrak where in the sikkim in the same place it is going to be off so these are the few fermented foods that were available in india and then coming to here it is a panta bath it's especially in bangladesh then this is in the netowa it's in japan then miso again japan and kimchi in korea and here are uh, some other fermented foods that is khanima in Nepal, temp in Indonesia, then you have thayar chin thoko in Burma and soya sauce in China. The tofu is another product that also comes under the fermented foods that were uh, used mainly in the China itself. So this is all about the introduction to the fermented foods. In the next video, we will uh, study or we will discuss about the properties of fermented foods, then different uh, 
types of microorganisms involved in the preparation of these fermented foods then the health benefits of this fermented foods consumption okay thank you